how is Gen Z boosting this revolution in re-commerce? Yeah, well, Gen Z is really driving it. You know, when you look at Gen Z, just in 2021, 80% of Gen Z has bought online. And a third of Gen Z started selling online last year. Uh, and re-commerce really aligns with their values. If you think about, you know, that that demographic, you know, they really want to make sure they're finding unique, interesting items. But importantly, they really care about sustainability and how important that is. And that's why, you know, this is so important for that generation. And, and we're really leaning in to support that. Gen Z is also typically more price sensitive. How are they responding with 40-year inflation? Yeah, you know, it's not just Gen Z, it's really across the board. If we look over the last two years, 82% of people uh, have been selling secondhand goods. And when you think about high gas prices and inflation, et cetera, eBay is a great place to turn to, to sell your pre-loved items. You know, the average household has $4,000 of items that they could sell, and less than 20% of that is online. And like you said, there's amazing values in that pre-loved. You know, take our certified refurbished. If a Gen Z needs a new laptop, they can buy a certified refurbished product. It comes with a two-year warranty, 30-day hassle-free returns, eBay money-back guarantee, and it's a like-new product. And importantly, they're saving a product from going into the landfill. Now, you were the COO of Walmart for many years. You were the CEO of SamsClub.com. The existential question for eBay seems to be just how big a market can reselling really be? You know, it's massive. We just had our investor day, and I talked about a $1.4 trillion tram, TAM, uh, total addressable market. And in fact, it's actually growing faster than new in season. So non-new in season is going to have more growth over the next four or five years. If you look at any category on eBay, sneakers, handbags, collectibles, uh, trading cards, sports equipment, we're only high single digit or low double digit penetrated. So there is a lot of opportunity and a huge TAM for us to go after. When you last reported earnings, though, we saw eBay lose active buyers. And I know you said at the time it was because of a reduction in promotions. What kind of marketing do you think is worth it to reverse that trend? And, and where does that number of active buyers ultimately settle? Yeah, you know, we're really leaning into our enthusiast buyers on the platform. This is 19 million enthusiast buyers who buy 71% of the GMV. And they're not only growing, but they're actually spending more on the platform. And they're the heart of what makes this platform really healthy. So we're really pleased. They're, they're going across categories. So they may come into, let's say, our parts and accessories area. And enthusiasts will buy $1,200 in parts and accessories. But then they'll go on and buy $1,500 in other parts of the site. And that's one of the real special effects of eBay. And we're seeing that really across the board in, in all of our focus categories. You're also pushing for eBay, and some people may not realize this, to become more of a destination for luxury goods. You're authenticating handbags, for example. But the perception of eBay, I think, for a lot of people still might be eBay is like an online swap meet. How do you reverse that? Yeah, it's changing massively. You know, we started with authenticating sneakers over $200, and it's been an amazing experience. We've been growing double digits on the backs of triple digits. We're doing the same thing in handbags. We're doing the same thing in luxury watches. You know, every day, incredible products are sold. We just sold a Tom Brady card for $2.3 million on the platform. We sell hundreds of thousands of dollar watches on the platform. So it's really changing. And things like our certified refurbished program, where we put eBay money back guarantee and a two year warranty. It's making people really comfortable with the platform and consumers are really leaning in. What are the bright spots in post pandemic e-commerce as people return to stores? And are there those uh, certain categories that you think are fading because people you know, can go back to the stores in person and, and, and won't come back? Not really. You know, We think uh, the metrics that we're seeing are not really pandemic related. When you look at people selling secondhand goods or buying secondhand goods, they're leaning in even more. You know, When times are tough, people look for the amazing values that we have on eBay. In fact, a lot of our sellers on the platform start as what I call accidental entrepreneurs. They just needed a little bit of money, so they started selling on the platform, and they turned that into a business on eBay. In some cases, that's a small business where they go on to hire employees. And that's really the special part of the eBay platform and what we're still seeing. We're seeing accidental Gen Z entrepreneurs 
emerging on a lot of social platforms like TikTok and Instagram. How are you or can you use some of those platforms to drive Gen Z interest? You know, it's really interesting how much they've taken to what we're doing. Take sneakers. We had a viral campaign go out on sneakers. We had 12 billion views of our last TikTok campaign and 2 million user-generated videos just highlighting what's happening with the sneaker drops on eBay, the great products that we have, and the amazing values. And so it's exciting to see how that community is really embracing eBay. I know there's been talk of an eBay digital wallet, but not yet about accepting crypto. Are you thinking about it? What kind of conversations are you having about potentially accepting cryptocurrency? Yeah, we are not accepting crypto right now. We just added Klarna. We also take Afterpay. So we now have financing and invoicing options on the platform. And what I'm really excited to talk about is we just started to have a digital wallet with a cash balance. So now if you've sold a couple of products on eBay, you're gonna have that cash balance sitting right there to go ahead and find your next treasure that you wanna find on the platform. So that's gonna be rolling out over the course of this year. And we think will be really exciting as it comes to payments on the platform. Could you accept crypto someday? We're really just focused on what are the best types of payments that we need. We're continuing to expand them on the platform uh, and go from there.